Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our Little Lion birthday pop-up card. I've got all my pieces cut out here in front of me as should you. And we're gonna begin with our card base, which is right here. Okay, the card's gonna open up this way. And rather than having you um, put together, uh, well, a bunch of confetti, we did a print to cut element so that you just glue it right behind this layer here. And then that way, save you a lot of time and headache, but keep the card looking really fun and colorful. So we're gonna take this and work our way around all the little cutouts. We're gonna glue that to this part here. Now, if you don't have a printer, um, you can simply just cut out, uh, well, you can use this to cut out a, maybe you have a cool pattern that would work nicely. That's just full of a lot of different colors. Okay, you just put that right behind it. It'll still look cool. Okay, so that goes like that. And this is gonna go on the front, because again, it opens up like this. So, well, let me make sure that I've got this lined up right. Okay, so you'll notice that there's kind of a, a natural frame here, and there's a gap here. This is gonna be the bottom, that's the top. And there's a set of markers right on the card base. We're gonna use that to help us get this aligned correctly. I just wrote line on the back of this because I had all three sets of print and cut elements sitting on my table and I didn't want to get them confused. Okay, so just line that up, press it down, and you can start working on our little balloons. We're gonna start with the two yellow ones, okay? Now one of them has a, a little bit of a longer string and that's the one that's gonna go on the left-hand side. I didn't do any inking to this because it's mostly gonna be covered up. So go ahead and apply glue to the main balloon here and let's get that in place. And then once we have it in place, I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper to glue down the end of the tail. So just grab a scrap piece and just kinda dab the tail with a little bit of glue and then just press it down so it so it doesn't get ripped or torn or you get the idea okay the smaller one the one with the shorter tail is going to go over here also have a little score mark to help you with the placement there and if you want to try to put glue on the tail while you're holding it that's fine too use the little marker to help you with the placement pop that down and if that glue's still wet, which it was. Okay. Then we have a set of balloons here. There's three of each color. And you'll notice that there are little score marks on each of them. So go ahead and fold. And what we're gonna do is apply glue to one half, grab another balloon and just line it up. We're making kind of a, a dimensional balloon. You can fold it flat while you're getting it aligned, but just make sure that you only have glue on one half of it. There we go. And then grab and apply glue to another half. And take this one, pop it into place. You can fold that one down flat too to get it aligned if you want to. So that should leave two halves that do not have glue on them. And I'm gonna put the green one on the left-hand side. So now you can apply glue to the entire back, like so. And I'm gonna pop this right onto the yellow. Make sure that that score mark is pointing right at that little part on the balloon where you would tie it normally. 
just like that. Press that down and you can kind of flare it out to give it a little bit of dimension. There we go. And we'll repeat the same process with the red one. This is um, Encore Vermilion is the color. Okay, same thing. Just apply glue to one half, line it up. This first one, you can just kind of fold it completely flat to get it lined up. Let's make sure that it is in fact lined up. Okay, and flare it open, apply glue to one half. Grab the next one, get that lined up. Press it down and open it all up. And just kind of squish it all together and then apply glue to the back and we'll get that in place. And just line it up as accurately as you can. You can push it down flat for now just to help it really take hold. And then you can flare it out. Okay, so far so good. Now, I'm gonna start by building our little lion. And we're gonna start with this piece here. All right, so for this first layer, you'll see that we have little feet here. Okay, and just to conserve paper, we kind of um, cut things out like this. Okay, so I'm going to take this brown layer, put it on top of this pink layer. So let's flip this over, and I'm just going to do little tiny dots here, right out to the ends of the toes. And you're just going to line that up. It's like a little shadow layer, like so. Press that down. Do the same thing on the other foot. Just little dots. Oops, oh, at least it fell on the right side. There we go. Okay. Now our little feet are gonna be pointing up. So go ahead and flip this around and just find the corresponding shadow layer for the foot. Line that up and press it into place, like so. And grab the other one. And then we have probably the smallest elements of this card. It's a little details for the tail. This one here that has the three points is gonna go on first. Just do a few little dots and just match that up, like so. Press that down. Then we're going to grab the piece with the two points. Just a few dots real quick, nice and simple. And then grab the last one. And there's, a, there's one part that's kind of pointier than the other. And that's going to go up at the top. And that's going to go on the right hand side of his tail to make it kind of three toned. All right, so that's the first layer, and that's what's gonna get glued down flat right here. And you'll notice there's a series of little score marks to help you with the placement of our first layer of our lion. So go ahead and apply your glue. Make sure you get some on the tail so it doesn't get ripped or torn off. Okay, and get that nice and aligned using the score marks. Give it a visual once over just to make sure that it's sitting nice and flat as well. Okay, next we're gonna grab this piece and these two little pieces. So I have this flipped over and just to sort of conserve paper, we just cut out just this little bottom part. So you can take this piece, put it over, instead of trying to piece all those little fingernails, I guess you could draw them in, but we figured if we're doing cardstock, let's go all in. Okay. Just cover it up, just like that. There we go. Like 
All right, so we got that. Now I'm gonna take, and this one I'm gonna foam square, and this probably will be the only layer that I foam square to give this entire piece some dimension. Okay, probably do four up at the top, just so it's nice and secure. Peel off the backing. And get that in place. Obviously, you can see where the head's gonna go. You wanna match that up and then just make sure that the little hands and paws are nice and centered as well. Push those down, there we go. Looking good. Now, start working on this fun little thing here. Got these colors, okay? And you'll see here that we have greens that have triangles, and then we have this little hexagon as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer the greens, and if you want, what you can do is flare these out. So what I'm doing is I'm taking each of these little parts of his mane, um, placing it between my finger and a dowel, lifting it about 45 degrees and then running the dowel through just to give it a little bit of life. Okay, you can do that to all of these. And I did go and ink all of these as well. So let's just do that. Let's just start a little assembly line here. Okay. And this is pretty straightforward. All we're doing here is applying glue to the main <clears throat> round part and then lining up the triangles as accurately as possible. Most of it's gonna be hidden once we get everything in place. So we're gonna do the green layers first. Okay. And then we'll do our little hexagon layers next, and then glue these two sections together. Like so, and then let's do these. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. They're all staggered so that they're not on top of each other. We took all the guesswork out of it. You just have to make sure that you line up the little shapes there. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and apply glue to this section here. And we're gonna put this on top as well. Just make sure you match up that little shape. And press that down. And then this is gonna go right on top here. And we wanna just make sure that it's nice and staggered so that all the colors are showing through. So it's gonna be kinda of like that, okay? So go ahead and apply glue to this round part on the inside and sort of kind of align the shapes roughly. Oops, there we go. And just make sure that you've got a little bit of all those colors popping through. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take and apply glue to this main part here. And it might help to kind of just kind of look at this at an angle a little bit. Or from the top, just to make sure that it's mostly flush. Okay, now we just need to put his little head together. It's relatively simple as well. So we're gonna start with this color. This color is gonna go on top. Just hit the little pom-pom with a little bit of glue. Work your way around the perimeter. Try to avoid the little cutouts so we don't have any glue splashing through. Okay. And that's gonna create his little pink features so we don't have to piece those all one by one. There we go, okay. And let's put his little hat together. I have a blue layer with little stars cut out of it. It's gonna go on top of my yellow layer. 
nice, just a few little dots here and there. And get that flush with the bottom. And then you can see that the sides are also flush, but we have some stars cut out of it as well. Whoops. They're just slipping and sliding everywhere. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and that's obviously going to go right on the shadow elements of that brown layer. Just match up the pom-pom initially. The rest of it will fall into place. Perfect. All right. And next, we're going to take this large black piece, and that should fit in like a little puzzle. It's not symmetrical, so make sure that you have the orientation correct. If it doesn't fit properly, just flip it over, flip it around. Okay, there we go. And then we've got his little eyeballs. And that's going to go... Well, you know where the eyes go. I don't need to explain that. There we go. Pop that in, and then we have little black pieces to make his eyes look like eyes, actually. Okay, and you'll notice that there's two circles. One's a little bit larger, and one's a little bit smaller. I want the larger one on top, and kind of at an angle, maybe to the left. Like that. Same thing with the other one. Larger circle on top, off to the left. Try to get the angle the same as the other one. As close as you can, anyway. That looks good. And then finally, his little mouth and nose. Just a few little dots on that. There we go. And just match that up with the existing black piece as accurately as you can. And there is our, kind of looks like a little bear that's maybe pretending to be a lion. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And then there's little score marks uh, right by the ears and at the bottom to help you with the placement of that. Um, I'm gonna foam square that. I think it'll look cool, this head kind of popping out a little bit. So let's do that. I thought maybe I was gonna go flat, but I think that added dimension might look nice. We'll see. If not, I can always take these off and... Okay, just match it up with the score marks on both sides. There we go. Yeah, that, that does look nicer. And there he is. Okay, so that's the, that's the outside of our card. Very cute. Now we're going to put some little gifts together. All right, let's put our little gifts together. Grab the largest pieces first, and then everything else is just going to be little details, and then we have a little banner as well. Okay, so starting with the green, large green. I'm going to grab the second largest piece, which is just this light green. I think this is parsley. Okay, I'm going to glue that right onto the existing shadow layer. Line that up as accurately as you can, especially on the bottom. Press that down. And we'll grab this blue piece. So we're working from largest to smallest. And then we're going to put on the details. And you can see exactly where it goes. Pretty self-explanatory. There we go. And we'll grab this little fella here. Okay. There we go. All right. Next, I'm going to grab this yellow piece. I'm going to flip it around and get this one in place. Maybe do a little bit of glue on each of these little little sections. I'd probably match up the loops first for the bow. 
Just make sure those are centered. Then look at the bottom and then push all these little ribs into place. We'll call them ribs. Okay, and then we're gonna go with the blue layer. I already put the giraffe card together and it's super cute. Definitely, this is gonna be our, our best set of kid cards ever for sure. It's almost like our only set of kid cards actually. Okay, next, we're gonna put this little piece in. We're gonna start filling in the little details. This guy's gonna go over here. There's actually a set of little score marks right here to help you with the placement of this, like so. All right, next, I'm gonna put this shadow layer down on top of this green one. This goes together really quick, actually. I'm not even 30 minutes in yet. There we go. And then we have a, an overlay to kind of give the details on the bow. I'm just gonna line that up. Like so. Okay, then we'll go here. Pop this one right here. So colorful and vibrant. And then this one's gonna go right here on top of that bow and ribbon. Just like that. Bring that down a tad, whoops. There we go. Okay, so there's our set of gifts. And then we have this little banner. Um, there's two larger flags. These are obviously the secondary color. I'm just gonna pop that right on top there and there. And then it's time to put together our little mechanism. Okay, so for the interior here, one other thing I forgot to do was put the number together. Uh, in your extras folder, you have numbers from zero to nine. I think these Probably will max out at maybe age five, but it wasn't that much extra work and we included zero through nine just in case, but all right, so that's gonna go right on there. We've got a nice holographic paper behind there to really just make this bling and pop like crazy. We'll let that kind of set while we work on the inside. So now here's the mechanism and what you want to start doing here is just start folding. I'm going to start here in the center and just get that folded very carefully. Might want to pop it out a little bit. Just very gently, don't, don't harshly fold any of these score marks. Just start to kind of ease them in a little bit at each little fold. Okay, I'm going to work up here. This one kind of pops out a little bit, so fold that up. Fold that up, fold that out, just very gently. Like so. Okay, now go down here. And let's fold this one out, like so. And fold this one. there and ultimately what we want is for this whole thing to just fold flat this is going to come up okay and this is going to come forward and there we go okay so just be very gentle with it okay there we go so that's what the mechanism looks like and here is our confetti and it's gonna go behind, it's gonna be flush on top. It's not gonna go all the way down though. So if yours is not flush at the bottom, that's completely normal. And let's just make sure this is folding properly. There we go. And you can begin applying glue. 
to the back of this. Work your way around all of the little cutouts for the confetti. Again, if you don't have, um, if you don't have a printer or you don't want to deal with print and cut, find a pattern paper that just is full of color and pop it behind all the confetti. I'm sure it will look great. Okay. Like that. Then we'll take this piece. And as I mentioned, it's gonna be flush at the top. And just kind of jiggle it and wiggle it until it all matches up with the little cutouts and then press that down flat, just like that. You can flip it over and do it this way too. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. All right, and now we're gonna take our card base, okay? And you'll notice there are a series of little markers up here. Okay, we're gonna apply glue to the back of this, this entire thing. Like so, I'm gonna open up the card, line it up with the little score marks, and then it should pretty much go right into that fold and just press that into place. You can go ahead and close it. You need to, if you need to kind of push it in a little bit for it to close, that's fine. Just make sure as it's drying that you're folding it. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna take this and flip it the other way to expose the other side. And we'll apply our glue to this side all the way around. And then just go ahead and make sure it's all the way in that, that fold. And then go ahead and close it and just press down to get the other half of it glued into place. There we go. Let's take a look. Beautiful. All right, now one thing that we can do now is we can take and apply some glue to our banner. I'm kind of doing this uh, a different order than I did my giraffe card, but still get the same outcome. There's some markers there to help you with the positioning of this. Just line that up nicely. There we go. Okay. Grab our number. And we want this up a little bit. You don't want it all the way flush on this surface because it may not close. But go ahead and apply your glue to this little mechanism. Take your number. Pop it into place, make sure it's nice and straight up and down, hovering ever so slightly, and just make sure it closes. I've got foam squares on this so I can push down on it, it's fine, it's not gonna hurt anything. So there's your number, and then our gift here, you'll notice that this little part here matches up with this part. This also is going to hover ever so slightly. It's not gonna be flush with the card base, okay, so make sure that you give it a little wiggle room. There is a little score mark there um, just to kind of guide you. You want to keep it at or above that little score mark. So go ahead and apply your glue to this part here, like so. Grab your little set of gifts, match that up, especially on that little corner there. Keep it above that score mark. Okay, give that a quick little press and then close it. Make sure it closes as you press down. And that happened last time too. It kind of nudged it out of place. I'm just gonna push it down. There we go. There it is. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool.
Okay, and there's the front of our card. We can flare these out a little bit. If you want to pull these out a little bit, you can too. We create a little added dimension to your card, but I don't think it's totally necessary, but there it is. Beautiful. We'll close that up and let's take a look at our envelope. We have our envelope here and we have this uh, additional little panel for our cupcake and it kind of comes out a little bit, give it a two-tone look, which is pretty common with our cards. So we'll go ahead and apply glue to this entire section all the way around. Okay. And then take this piece and kind of hold this up at about 45 degrees, push it up against the score mark, make sure it's centered. A little nudge and then press it down just like that. And then we'll grab this second color for our cupcake, apply our glue. Just like that, and it should fit perfectly in there like a little puzzle. Press that into place like so. And then we have a little cupcake wrapper. It's gonna go on the bottom. I'm clean this nozzle off. Oops. That really shot out. If that ever happens, just kind of hit it with your finger. Clean off your finger when you're done. You don't want glue building up on it because it will it'll get in the way later on, I promise you. And there's a little marker there for, I don't know, is this a cherry? Maybe it's a cherry. Boy, now suddenly the glue woke up. Pop that right on there like so. And then open that up, bring these two folds in, these two flaps. And we're gonna apply glue starting about here, all the way down to the very edge. Like so, bring the bottom flap up, press it down. And I usually try to put the card in while it's still drying, but I'm not gonna do that. You can see that it fits perfectly inside of the envelope. And that is it for our Little Lion birthday pop-up card. So cute, super colorful, plenty of room for your little sentiment. You can even put a gift card in here if you want, but that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please visit us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new project, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. That's where you'll find myself and over 46,000 of our crafty friends. So hope you had a blast. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.